what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys we are here we're back in denmark uh came across this channel called denmark explained um this is all things from a dane you know so uh we got bicycling in copenhagen so my guy uh, i don't know his name i just came across or i didn't come across this shout out to gert dk uh he sent me this video that's where i got it from so i was going through my playlist and gert sent me this um uh, bicycling in copenhagen how to safely how to cycle safely in denmark and avoid accidents of course i didn't almost get hit in denmark but your boy almost got hit in sweden that's because i was you know i'm walking around i was trying to you know take video pictures and stuff didn't realize i was in the bike lane but I do respect the bike lane. You know where I'm from. We don't really, we don't have bike lanes or nothing like that. A lot of sidewalks and stuff. Um, there, there are bike lanes in bigger cities. Uh, you see people ride. I see people ride bikes in more of the cities, downtowns and stuff like that. Not on the highways, of course, but and I'm sure many other states here have bike lanes and stuff. But where I'm from, grew up, it's not a thing. Not a thing. So, but we here denmark explain make sure y'all subscribe to his channel um yeah it looks like we get some tips and tricks and some safety measures on cycling in denmark how do you bicycle in denmark that is the question that many people is particularly interested in the answer to if they just a nice view out there in denmark or in copenhagen and they feel a bit intimidated by all the bicycles going everywhere <laughs> i dedicated this video to this topic because it's important not only is Max. bicycling a fast and cheap and effective way of hey i was in the area in denmark and copenhagen but it's also a cultural thing when you ride through the city with the wind in your hair and the sun yeah. on your skin it's it feels like magic it's hard to describe and that's what i i don't think i mentioned that in uh any of my culture shock videos or my experience videos but people on the bike like here you will see people probably using the bike to work out or you know you see kids on their bike and then it was no matter the age everybody was on their bike a lot of people was on their bike I, i pretty much see more older people than kids riding bikes and you know probably commuting to work or commuting somewhere you know get something to eat or something but like yeah i probably see more older people than younger people on bikes for sure right but i really love that feeling after watching this video you will be completely prepared to hit the road on a rented bike or a bike that you hey. own. If you're looking for other tips and tricks on living in Denmark or visiting Denmark, then check out my other videos or subscribe to I probably should have watched this before I left. with tips and tricks. Now, let's hit the road and talk about bicycling. Yeah, I probably should have watched this before I left. It was probably already in there, but now it's cool it's like just seeing the places i was actually i was actually at my name steve? is steven Harlan. i'm a danish steven. national trying to make life a little easier for foreigners visiting denmark as well as expats who are settling in denmark or who have already lived here for some time one of the most important things to do when visiting or living in copenhagen or denmark is to ride a bicycle Mm -hmm. Most Danes own a bicycle, in fact many Danes own multiple bicycles. The city is made for it and there is an accepting culture that accommodates bicyclists. The Danish road agency estimates that 40% of all bicycle trips made in Denmark are made to go to work or to school. Oh, yeah. so it's crazy, it when I get off the metro, the first thing, yeah like this, this look like, this look like almost where I got off at. Uh, it was by some canals and stuff. Where was I? Christian Ivan. Christian Ivan. Uh, yeah, once I got off, came up the stairs from the metro, got nothing but bikes. Nothing but bikes. Like, it was so many bikes. It's like, where, like, where are the people that own these bikes? Like, it's like, we buy buildings and stuff, but I, it's like, it was just a lot of bikes. Like I, I almost thought I was in Amsterdam for it's a minute with the, all the bikes that was there. To try it out when visiting Denmark, at least, or if you live here, then I would just highly Ooh. recommend 
you to do the same as the Danes do. And it's also a fun and effective way to move around and see parts of Copenhagen or other parts of the country. Oh, yeah. After all, it's a fairly small country, so pretty easy to get where you want to go. However, bicycling can also be dangerous. And to avoid that you have a bad experience in Denmark or get into an accident, I hope that you will see this video to the end. There are many good tips and tricks. I will cover the most important things you need to know to be safe and have a good experience on a bicycle in Denmark. This includes getting the bicycle ready before you bike. head out in the traffic, most important rules for turning in intersections, oh, yeah, yeah. positioning on the bicycle paths, signaling, general safety, and I have a couple of other things that you should be mindful about when you bicycle in Denmark. So. Let's get started. Before you can go bicycling, you need a bike. Let's assume that you are <laughs> going sure. to rent one from many bike shops or the shared bike Donkey services Republic. available. I now need to get you a, bike. Have a bike. But before you go bicycling, there are a few things we better check first. First, check the saddle height and adjust it if needed. Mm -hmm. Your saddle should be approximately where your hip bone is when standing next to the bike. Put it slightly Dang, I never knew that. if you are not <laughs> That's something that I never even really... Usually, growing up, just hopping on... I used to just hop on a bike. If it was too big, it was too big, too small, too so small. I used to just hop on it. I never touched the seat. A bicycle. Another way to see if the bike saddle is in the right position is if you are able to touch the ground standing on your toes on mm. both feet while sitting on the saddle. This is important because your knees will hurt after some hours biking if oh, you don't yeah. get the saddle position just right. The idea is that while pedaling, your legs will almost completely stretch out when the pedal is mm. all the way down while you sit comfortably in the saddle. Dang! This makes me realize I think I've been bicycling wrong. <laughs> That's the state when I that did ride a bike. For. Also, before bicycling, you need to check that the bell works. You might need it, and many bell. things do, so why shouldn't you? More importantly, check the lights if I definitely you got are the bell to use the bicycle at night. The fine is up to 200 euros if the police catches you without Whoa. light. When you are bicycling in Copenhagen, it's very important to stay on the right side of the bike path. Similar to when you are driving your car on the highway back home, people will overtake you on the left mm. and you need to make room for them to do so. If you fail to stay wow, on I the right, Danes will use the, the bell on you. Uh, in that case, it will indicate that I want to pass you. Can you please uh, move aside? See, when I seen uh, people on, in the bike lane and stuff, of course, you have most people. It wasn't like super busy where it was just continuous traffic flowing. It was like a little here and there. Then if it was a lot of people, it was like mostly people in like a group or something. So they probably knew each other just biking to where they were, where they were going to or something like that. But yeah, right. I didn't know that. If you the don't street move rule fast like enough, that. they might start shouting at you. Just a warning there. It's okay <laughs> to ride side by side as long as you both move to the right if someone wants to pass from behind. Therefore, mm. it's good bicycle etiquette to always keep an eye on who's behind you and if they want to pass you. So always look okay. over your shoulder. Some bicyclists, they ride really fast, so you have to stay alert. Man, and look real over your fast. Once in a while. Which brings me to the next topic which is bicycle road rage. Bicycle, <laughs> bicycle road, road rage, rage is a thing in Denmark. While Danes are not displaying negative emotions very often in public, you will probably see at least some passive aggressive eye rolling, head turning <laughs> or uh, head shaking when you are out bicycling for the first time in Denmark. Oh, this guy. <laughs> cyclists depend on their bicycle to get from A to B on their daily commute to and yeah. from work, picking up kids. See, I was definitely, like, when I was on the crosswalk and stuff, I was definitely allowing the bicycle, people that was on their bikes, bicycles to pass by first and stuff. Because this is like, 
with a car you know you come to a stop and all that but with a bike it's like walk come to a complete stop you know but i can say people that were on their bikes because i even seen uh with the bike lane there were still like street lights and stuff so they knew to stop at certain lights and all that it wasn't like on every corner but it was certain probably like the major the major streets where you know they still had uh to follow those street lights you know so, so, so i thought so that was so they are not everybody just follow the rules for sure two wheels in many other countries bicycles are considered recreational hey i was in that area in denmark it's your preferred mode of transportation it looked and like if it. traffic is dense or some part my french idiot is fooling around on the <laughs> road the patience is not always see that person there. is not on the bike lane though so my advice to you is to think of the bicycle path as the highway you took to work every day yeah up. i was on a road uh because i went there were some uh different food places that i went to uh there was like i was walking it wasn't like a side like you can there was a it didn't really just say like you know pedestrian walk and bike but I noticed, I did notice, it was like a two-lane bike lane. It was like a two-lane. I think, only saw that in Denmark. I probably, probably did see it in Sweden. I can't remember. I know in Denmark, I was walking somewhere, and there, there was a place where food trucks were and stuff, and it was a two-lane bike lane. I didn't even know where to walk at first. I had to follow, just follow people because it was a two-laner. I've never seen that. Like a two-lane bike lane, that's different. I've never seen nothing oh. like that. You stay on the right, otherwise you will have some aggressive dude uh, late for a meeting on your bumper very soon, right? Mm -hmm. Turning left on a bicycle in Denmark uh, is one of the most essential things to get right. It's also conceptually the most complicated, even though it's actually not really complicated. <laughs> anyway, here's how you do it. You go, you see a green light on the intersection, cross the intersection and make a stop on the opposite corner. Here you wait for the green light in the left mm. direction you want to go to while turning your bike in that direction. When the light changes to green in this new direction, you are safe to go and get where you want to go and you have now completed a left turn. While it's actually not illegal to make a left turn together with the cars in the middle of the intersection, it's very dangerous. Mm. Nobody oh, will yeah. expect a bicycle there and you are very likely to be hit by a car, essentially. So promise oh, yeah, me that you light. will never do that. Turning right sure. on a bicycle in Danish traffic is simple. Like in a car, you roll forward into the intersection when the light turns green. Then you wait for pedestrians to cross on mm -hmm. your right side. When there are no pedestrians in the intersection, you can make your right turn. Don't turn if the light is red, even though you will see some things doing so. That is oh, super yeah, dangerous I think I because definitely did. passing cars, they might try to avoid the possible collision with you as they see you head right into the intersection. And therefore, that might cause damage to people or property. What to do when a bus offloads passengers to the bicycle path in front of you? When a bus offloads passengers, you have to stop so that the passengers bus. can enter and leave the bus safely. Okay, Many I don't think I've don't seen nothing like that when I was there. Super dangerous. A child or elderly person might be going out of the bus or into the bus, and if you hit them in the high speed, it can be fatal. If the bus stops at an island so to speak i don't know what the real term is then you can continue and the bus oh, passengers yeah. need to wait for your for you to pass but pay attention as many people don't know the rules and might just walk right out in front mm. of you uh -huh. when you're on your bike that pay was special mean. attention to tourist buses as tourists forget to look for cyclists uh, when you <laughs> bicycle in denmark Me. you need to signal left uh, and right but also signal if you are braking but actually, many Danes don't use the signals, so you don't have to take it too seriously, especially the braking part. 
right and left are straightforward. Stretch your arm to the left or right, depending on the direction that you want to turn yeah. to. But breaking is a now. I, I did see people, of course, use the signal. I told y'all in one of my videos. I thought somebody was waving at me. I, this is probably because I was too busy. I was trying to get my phone ready to take a picture, so I picked my head up, and I just seen a hand like just. I seen a hand just go out like that, and I was like, oh. Hey. And they were like, a bit more tricky. Turning. Before you break, you have to raise your right or left hand over your head like this. The tricky part is that it's quite hard to do while oh, you are yeah. breaking. And breaking is something, uh, or sometimes not planned, right? So just do it if you have the time uh, for it and you can do it in a safe manner. In Denmark and Copenhagen in particular, you have to lock your bicycle. Otherwise, uh, poof, it's gone. Sometimes you <laughs> see large shady men loading whole racks of bicycles into Dang. trucks and driving them away. Police cannot really do anything about it. Every day, about 130 bicycles are stolen in Denmark, mostly wow. in Copenhagen. So it's a real pro problem. So you need to lock your bike and preferably lock it to something. If you have an expensive bike, then it's not enough Definitely to gotta lock it. Definitely got to lock it. It will get stolen either way. If you are a tourist, it should be sufficient just to lock the bike that is in, with the lock that is installed on your rental bike. If you have moved to Denmark and you want to own a bike, then I recommend you to buy a used and not too fancy bike to drive in the city. Mm. If you want a more fancy road bike, I would lock it in the basement. Never on the street Never you don't outside, need to yeah. wear a helmet when you bicycle in denmark but it's highly recommendable if you fall or get bumped into by a car or another cyclist then you might fall a fall might result in a concussion which mm -hmm. is pretty hard to get rid of so i recommend i feel like i only seen i've seen a couple of people with helmets not not too many which is pretty hard to get rid of so i recommend using a helmet you will see many things that don't wear helmets i don't when i ride in the city because i like the feeling of wind in my hair mm -hmm. but if i ride my fast road bike i do it due to the speed if i had kids as well i would do it for their sake too don't bicycle if you are drunk actually you don't are drink and drive to uh, in denmark as long as you can control the bicycle and ride drink it and in bicycle. a safe manner it is up to the police to judge if you can do so, and you can get a fine uh, of up to 1,500 corner if you are mm. drunk and bicycle in an unsafe manner. You will see many Danes bicycle from bar to bar, a bit tipsy or maybe just pissed altogether. <laughs> Sometimes someone lose their life like that. Don't yeah. be uh, like them and let that not be you. If you are not used to biking, then I recommend that you walk instead, even if you get a couple of drinks only. That is just more safe. There are a couple of other things that are good to know as well when you are bicycling in Denmark. On a bike, you are considered to be a part of the traffic on par with cars. Therefore, you of course need to mm -hmm. adhere to traffic signs the same way as they do. You need to stop at red light and give way yeah. to pedestrians in intersections ah. and crossings. You also need to make sure that... See, I had it. I wouldn't say... I've I seen a lot of people do I was, I Most times, I was just following the crowd, uh, especially on the, these type of pedestrians walk without the lights. Like I, I did wait to see who were, who were coming by and stuff like that, but there were times you did see people just in the street and somebody's flying on the bike so i definitely i had to watch out for the bikes more than cars when i was there and it was it was definitely crossings. having to watch the you bikes more than a car sure that situation brakes work and that the bike is but in good that looked like area i was at though while many of these rules are not really enforced by law enforcement mm -hmm. fines can reach up to 700 corner for these minor offenses. But most importantly is that you pay attention to the traffic, slow down yes. and drive carefully respecting other people in the traffic. Okay, I hope I gave you a good idea of how to bicycle in Denmark. 
If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel down below. No, this was good. And this was good. If you have, yeah, I, I probably should have. Uh, I should have watched this. <laughs> I probably should have watched this uh, before I left. It might. It might have been on there. I'm not sure. It might. Might have already been on the playlist. But no, yeah, he's absolutely right. Like I said, it's different once you experience it. You know, I see the tips and all those things like that. Uh, but my guy looked like he got some interesting things. Like I said, Denmark Explained is the channel. So he got a good amount of videos. So y'all make sure y'all check him out. Subscribe to his channel. Uh, or at least it says 68 videos. I'm not seeing that many. Hopefully, some of them probably not, like, some of them are probably blocked in the way. But... Yeah, you got some interesting videos. I might check out and see uh, just because, you know, very informative video. Like I said, I should have watched it. Shout out to Gert. You probably sent me that for me to check out before I left. So, but other than that, that's all I have for this video. Uh, send me some more recommendations. Copenhagen, hit that subscribe button. And y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.